are right out your window. Uh, we are in Fort William. We're in Fort William, uh, and if you've been following along, you'll know that we got here via London. Uh, no, not via. By the Caledonian Sleeper, that was our last video. If you're new here, I'm Steph, this is my husband Pete, our three-year-old son Hayes is in the back, and we don't know what we're doing here, so we just rented a car and we're going to try to go explore for the day. We have one night in Glencoe before we're on to Glasgow, so let's see what we find. Airplane rakes. Airplane rakes? Yes. What's that? When you raise the airplane to the finish line. Beautiful. This is my leg. Still don't know if I'm saying that right. Hayes is still sleeping though, and he's only been sleeping about half an hour. So in the interest of a nice evening, I think we're gonna like and no parking because it's crazy. Uh, I think we're gonna keep going and see what we can find. But I don't know if we've mentioned that on this whole trip we have absolutely lucked out with weather, and right now it is like 60 degrees and so sunny. It's unbelievable. But I think people come here to um, do boat trips to the Isles and then also for that Harry Potter train that goes over the Glen Finnan Viaduct, which I can't remember. It's either doesn't operate till April or it was already booked. Whatever it was, we can't do it. I think Can I speak too soon? Mr. Napster's not napping. He's awake. Good afternoon. Ignore everything I said in that last clip. Hayes woke up. We're having fish and chips. White Sands Beach, is that what it's called? No. Nope. Nope. Come join us here, we're on Silver Sands Beach, it's just outside of um, uh, Malague. Welcome to the Silver Sands Beach of Mora. Don't, not sure if we're getting that pronunciation correct, but it is gorgeous. And Hayes is loving it. Also some appreciation from some uh, some Scottish friends here are having a proper beach barbecue and they've got like a really good setup. I mean it looks like an American style setup and it smells really good. Cool trick. Okay, I had two goals of the day. One was to find out what a glen is, which I have since Googled and it's just a small valley. This is Glen Finnan. The other is to find out what a lock is, which I have not yet Googled and I don't know how it's different than a lake. I always tell people that Pete and I are like not great at nature. This is very much a nature destination that we're kind of just driving around and admiring from the car. Uh, but I know this, this viaduct is special. It's that special, it's 350 to park. Daylight robbery, I say. This viaduct is also where the uh, Jacobite train that a lot of people told us to do. Yeah. 
crosses. Wait. It's uh, it's not my. I thought you were talking to me then. I was like, yeah, I know that. Something. What else do you know? I know that it's a very cool train bridge. Is it the best viaduct you've seen all time we've been traveling? It's not. I think the one. <laughs> I think the one in Sri Lanka. What was that called? That nine bridge. Arches. Sorry. The which one? The nine arches. I mean that. More than nine arches. I know, but that one like there's something really special about that one in Sri Lanka. I think partly because night. there's like a little bit of danger to it because you walk on the tracks to get to it. And that we waited about two hours. Yeah. Oh, you want to see that video? Check it out on the channel. Our Sri Lanka series. It's a good video. So here's some things we know. We know that Ben Nevis is the tallest mountain in the UK. Still a little bit unclear which one is Ben Nevis. Whoa! You okay? We're not hiking it, but we have come to the Ben Nevis Inn, which is where all the people who have hiked it come to have a beer afterwards. So congratulations to them. And they're always, I was just at the bar and they're like absolutely exhausted. We're feeling great. It's five o'clock, <laughs> it's super sunny. This is a beautiful setting for a pub. If anybody is surprised that we haven't no, hiked Ben Nevis, you obviously sheep. haven't been around this that long. Uh, this is a great place for a beer with or without the hike. Leave it in, folks. This is beautiful. What a set. We uh, tore ourselves away from the hikers pub to come to the Balahulish Hotel on Loch, I believe this is Loch Linny, and it's gorgeous. I'll show you the room later, but we're gonna have some dinner at their fish restaurant. Before we knew we were gonna stay at this hotel, we thought we might eat at this restaurant because it is straight to the point. It is called Fish at the Balahulish and so we are having fish starting with oysters but also scallops in a presentation I've never seen before because they're perched on top of black pudding. Alright, cheers. Local, right? I'm not sure I've ever had a Scottish oyster. They taste like quite vinegary in a good way. Okay, correction. Not only were those Scottish oysters, they are oysters from Loch Linny, which is, I can see it right outside. The scallops are from there too, and the mussels that I'm about to eat are also from that little loch. And she said they have them like almost all year round. What a lucky bunch of people that live in this area. They've got great fish here, but they also have Highland beef as well, which is amazing. With this like peppercorn sauce. Pile of chips, some salad. Cheers. That was a really delicious dinner. Now he's sleeping just over there. We're in our lovely room. It's so big. Just having a gin and tonic with Scottish 1881 gin. I know it's itches. Um, one thing I love about British people is that they drink gin and tonics out of freaking goblets. Fish bowls. He calls them fish bowls. If there's any Americans watching, or if you're a British person who has had a gin and tonic in America, we don't drink them out of these. We drink them out of like normal tumblers, or like a, or a tall glass. It's good gin then. It's way more fun this way. Pete's gone for the pink one. Anyway, that's gonna be all for tonight. I know we still haven't showed you this room, so in the morning before breakfast, perhaps we will do that and some of the views of Loch Linny outside because it's wonderful. And tomorrow we're going to Glasgow, so we don't have a lot more time here, and I kind of wish we did. Good night. <laughs> now it's um, 
tucking into some breakfast with a view of this lock. Alright, oh, yeah, so this is this is well breakfast number two in a row. We'll see. Let's keep count keep watching <laughs> to find out. finished our breakfast and we have a little bit of time before we have to leave. I wish we were staying longer, um, but we're just walking around. It is stunning. The property's literally right there and this is what you see. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. That was a wonderful stay. That's the Balahoosh Hotel. It's a part of the Creef Hydro family of hotels. So there's seven other hotels in iconic spots throughout Scotland. If you do find yourselves in the Scottish Highlands, we would highly recommend it. So if you want to know more about it, we will leave all the information in the description. But for now, we're just going to wander these beautiful, what do you call this? Fields? Marsh? Anyway, see you in a bit. Mark Lenny, you have been gorgeous. All right, we're almost at the train station to head to Glasgow, which means our time in Fort William has come to an end. I know we barely scratched the surface. There's so much more to see, but hopefully this 24 hours in the Fort William area uh, inspired you to maybe consider visiting. However, it would not be a train ride without a quick stop at M&S. So I'm gonna do a little M&S haul. Yeah, these things I love. M&S brand combo snacks. Percy Pigs. You have to have Percy Pigs. Today is Easter, so I got Easter party time. Today is Easter and Pete loves hot cross buns. Yes. Not blueberry, I don't know if that's allowed. Wanna do a free up at the octopus bun? You can't get those in the States, except at our local bakery. Um, hummus to go with those dipper things. Got the boys both a ham sandwich. I got one of these little salad pots. Oh, and I didn't get a fork. Um, I think that concludes the haul. So we hope that you'll watch our future videos because we've got one coming up in both Glasgow and Edinburgh.